Hello Capricorn, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, this is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is a general reading in Capricorn. Of course, some cards just wanted to fall out here. So we're going to take these. Capricorn, your general energy is what you need to know. Get back to nature. Reconnect with your hippie roots. And look at sign and synchronicities. You may be seeing a lot of numbers at the moment. You may be seeing um, angel numbers. So that may be something that's very significant for you right now. Okay, at the bottom we have surround yourself with your soul tribe. So get out and experience you know uh be around social people be around people who care about you be around friends or loved ones um but get out into nature and experience more that may help you feel more grounded feel more balance see one wanted to jump out fire magic so Capricorn, there may be someone who has a lot of fire in their chart who's coming close to you. This also may be you, be you awakening your passions, awakening that fire that's getting you motivated. We also have meditation for clarity. So Capricorn, okay. Let's see. Let's take a look at the tarot. Let's see what the tarot has to say. No matter of fact, before we do that, we're going to take a card. What does Capricorn need to know? Victim. Okay, so someone feels like a victim. Complacency. And someone's in some stuck energy. What's going on, Capricorn? What's going on? Is this your energy or is this someone else's? Who feels like a victim in this stuck energy? Maybe that's the reason why it's saying you need to look at signs and synchronicities. Get out into nature. Surround yourself with people. Tell me more about Capricorn. Give me a message for Capricorn, please. We have the world card. So something has come into completion. You're completing some sort of cycle. The hermit. You're, you're spending too much time alone. And the star. Wow. Okay. Lots of healing going on for Capricorn right now. And the page of wands. And the king of swords. Two of Wands. The Three of Wands. So you're growing. You have the ability of expansion. You have the Knight of Wands. The Six of Swords. Okay. And the Justice card. Okay. And on the bottom of the deck is the hangman. So Capricorn, I feel like you're spending a lot of time with yourself. You may be spending too much time with yourself because you're going through some kind of completion. You've completed some sort of process. And, you know, you're spending a lot of time alone to kind of see what these feelings are really meaning to you. Something may have ended in your life causing some kind of situation maybe that's why we have the victim and complacency you may feel like you're kind of stuck at the moment um but i feel like with the hermit here and the star right next to it the hermit is carrying the star so he's carrying his healing with them you know he's carrying that light that he's shining and your current energy is the star so you're going through healing at the moment you're trying to find balance you're trying to find that place where you kind of belong you know um now you have the 
Page of Wands and the King of Swords. So I feel like someone's going to give you some kind of communication that's going to lead to you opening up. Something's going to be revealed to you that you may not have been expecting, Capricorn. Um, but you're going to receive this communication. And this communication is going to kind of open up new opportunities for you. You know, because it kind of reveals something that you needed to know. What it reveals, I'm not quite sure of, but it's something that you needed to know. Some kind of truth, some kind of honesty. Um, something's been revealed that's making you rethink the situation. You know, it's some kind of information that you've been waiting on. Something that helps you make your choice. Uh, something kind of pushes you through because you're progressing from the two of wands to the three of wands so whatever this whatever this is that you figured out is open you up to growing you know you're expanding I feel like you've thought this through and now it you're able to have the closure that you needed to move on because see on the second row I feel like you're becoming passionate again. Something is bringing that fire to you. Something is igniting your flame. Um, and you're able to move into the right direction again. You're able to move through whatever this is that, that brought you to the situation. You're moving past that. You're moving into something of more calmness, more stability, more feeling like yourself again and you also have the justice card so whatever this was you're I mean you're getting justice for it this is someone that has hurt you maybe and you weren't able to get closure but now something is revealed and you're able to move past that situation you're able to find your balance you're able to work through this situation because the truth has come out so you're able to move on and let this completion be a completion you know you're able to start over because with the world card yeah it's a completion it's an ending but it's also a new beginning it's opening you up for the recreation of something new in your life you know so now I feel like where you were stuck, now you're able to move forward. Tell me about this world card, Spirit. Give me some information about this world card. What is this? What is this completion? What are these lessons that were learned? Oh, wow. Okay. We have the Three of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, I feel like you may be getting out of, of a situation. It may have been a third party situation, but it's whatever that is with the third party. I feel like that's ended and now you're able to move on into something better. Um, but it's moving you. Maybe that's the reason why you've been spending so much time alone. some kind of situation now it may not have been a third party situation but I think I feel like someone else was in your situation whether it was someone just in your ear or someone in their ear but I feel like there was more than one person in the situation even if it wasn't sexually I mean it feels like there was more than one person that caused this ending caused this shift But now since the will has appeared, I feel like it gives you a sort of a turning point. You're able to accept things for how they are and just move forward. You're not in that stuck energy any longer. Tell me about this hermit. Tell me more about this hermit spirit. The Knight of Swords. 
Yeah, someone came and gave you some kind of information. I feel like it may have been someone who maybe a fast talking person, someone who likes to talk, someone who likes to gossip, spread rumors. <sighs> Sorry about that. Um, Spirit, tell me what this star is. Give me a message about this star. The Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you're going through healing, Capricorn. You're going through healing, but you see that there's many opportunities that are ahead of you. But it also may, that also may be the reason why you're stuck. Because you have so many opinions, so many opportunities. Um, I feel like you or this person may not have been able to commit your full selves to this situation. There may have been a commitment issue. Tell me about this page of wands. What is this page of wands, spirit? The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like where you were looking for stability, I feel like this person was just looking for a fire, looking for passion, looking for just fun in general. And I feel like you were looking for a stability. You were looking for something that, you know, would grow into something greater. You were looking into something more practical, you know? And I feel like it, it took all that you had in order to hear something about this person. But I feel like you've, you've gained some kind of knowledge about this person that kind of... Hmm, you lost it. What is this? Okay, with the King of Swords, we have the Eight of Wands. So definitely, there's still more communication. But I feel like you're taking action now. I feel like you're not just standing still. You're not in that stuck energy. You're taking action. You're moving in the direction you need to go into. What is this Two of Wands situation? Tell me about this Two of Wands. What are these choices that needed to be made? The Devil. This may have been a, a codependent situation. This may have had a little toxic energy to it. This person may have been addicted or obsessed. But I feel like you've seen that information and now you just had to move past it. You had to make a choice. You had to make your choice or fall into that darkness as well. And I'm not sure. Hmm. Tell me about this Three of Wands. The Queen of Wands. Yeah, now since you've moved past that situation, now since you've gained your balance, you're you're kind of expanding. You're feeling more passionate. You're feeling more alive. You're gaining your confidence again. You're moving past this stuck energy. I feel like this person may have taken your confidence. They may have taken something from you that made you feel less than yourself you know this may have been a Capricorn 
with this devil energy. Although I do see, you know, you have all the signs here. You have Libra, Aquarius, you have Pisces. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. What is this Knight of Wands energy? The Four of Wands. Yeah, you're definitely finding your happiness again. You're definitely finding that stability that you need. You're finding that balance. Uh, you're becoming yourself. And I feel like with this Four of Wands, you are getting out and socializing more. You may be going to get-togethers, going to parties, or you know, just surrounding yourself by people. You're you're in more of a happy state. You know? You're finding your happiness again. Tell me about this six of swords. Tell me about the six of swords energy. The temperance. Yeah, you're moving past this situation because you're finding your healing. You're finding your balance. You've you've gained the self-control that you need to move away from this toxic energy, to move away from whatever this was, if this was addiction, obsession, um, whatever this was, you're finding the self-control to move past it. And with that, I feel like you're finding more harmony. You're, you know, you're being patient with yourself. What is this justice card, Spirit? Tell me more about this justice. Yeah. You, with the justice card, you have the six of wands. So whatever the situation is, you're, you've got victory. You're winning. You've got success. You're moving past this. And you're not looking back. You know? You're, you're being recognized for whatever efforts that you made to move past, to move out of this situation. So I feel like, and <laughs> at the bottom you have the Empress. So yeah, you are gaining so much more than what you left. You're becoming yourself again. You're creating yourself again. You know, I feel like this is you just finding your balance, finding your stability creating yourself after this ending. Let's see. What else does Capricorn need to know? Give me a message for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know in this situation? indecision I use my intuition in all aspects of my life yeah so I feel like your intuition is pushing you to make a decision it's helping you create the choices that you need to make in order to move through the situation you're no longer indecisive you you know the answers the the answers are hidden within your intuition and I feel like you understand the opportunities that's why you have the seven of cups here I feel like you understand those those opportunities that you need to take, the opportunities that are ahead of you. We have guilt. So you may feel guilty. Uh, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Yeah, so I feel like that's important to you right now. Yeah, I definitely feel like that's important to you, that you see that you know, guilt is just a process. You take responsibility for your part in it and you move forward. Because we always have a part in it, whether we like it or not. We always have a part in the guilt and the choices that we make, you know. So we just need to take responsibility responsibility for them and move forward. What um what do we need to know, Spirit? Give me a message what we need to know. Okay. 
Okay, we have insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. So you may be just getting out there and you just may be showing your passion, showing what makes you happy. Um, you may meet someone who you have just this intense magnetic chemistry with that just brings out this passion, just, you know, having fun in the situation. And we have heart with a key, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together perfect. Yeah, so, you know, where this situation ended, I feel like, you know, whatever happiness and healing that you're going through, you're victorious and, and successful um, because, you know, people are still finding you attractive. You're still out there. You're still meeting new people. And we see that with the four of wands. You're, you're still being social. Um, so I feel like there's a very good opportunity that you're going to find that love interest that's not toxic, that's not obsessive, someone that's not controlling or abusive in any way, you know? Uh, give me a message for spirit um, for Capricorn. Give me a message for Capricorn spirit. Yeah, take charge and take action. And I feel like that's what you're doing, Capricorn. And everything is going to happen in its own divine timing. So don't try to rush things. Don't try to force things to happen. Because it's all meant to happen in its own divine timing. It's going to happen when it's meant to happen and not any sooner you know okay Capricorn if you take a moment to ask a question go ahead and ask your question now and we will look for an answer what does Capricorn need to know give me an answer for Capricorn in the near future I feel like in the near future, things are going to open up for you. And this new love may be coming through for you in the near future. What else does Capricorn need to know, Spirit? A year from now. Yeah, a year from now, you're, on, you're going to be in a better place. <laughs> and we have you ready. Okay, so you've gone through your healing. You've gone through your world moment you know you've gone through your wheel of fortune your temperance your star your hermit phase you know you've gone through all those phases and i feel like you're ready in the near future love may find you but from a year from now i feel like you're going to be in a totally different place you're going to be a, in a totally different situation in a totally different mindset so you know what let's take one more card and I'm going to take a manifestation card because I feel like that's something that will be very beneficial for you we have first quarter moon in Capricorn and I feel like it might be a Capricorn you were dealing with um, but this is your card Capricorn so hey uh, this might have been you with the addiction Capricorn I almost forgot who I was doing the reading for. That's crazy. First quarter moon in Capricorn. Unleash your kindest self. At the bottom you have first quarter moon in Scorpio. Release your blocks. So whatever is blocking you, whatever is holding you back, Capricorn, release that energy into the universe. Don't hold on to that negative energy. You may want to, you know, get out in nature so that you can release that energy. But, you know, look for the signs and synchronicities that may be coming forward for you because I feel like they are going to be very important for you this month. So look for signs and synchronicities. Look at the numbers. Maybe Google the numbers when you see them. Um, maybe that will give you more guidance, more inspiration for what you need to go through, what you need, what, you know, decisions you need to make. Okay, Capricorn. 
this is what I have for you. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Um, they would usually give you more clarity in the situation if you know that from your chart. And until the next reading, Capricorn, many blessings to you. Love and light.